Game design by Aolo, Roberta Williams, a bunch of other people. Oh, Scott Murphy under programming. Mark Crow. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, hello. Hello. Can we just do something with this noise? Nope, probably not. Okay, speed normal. Uh, okay, hello gamers, this is DNH, and welcome to The Black Cauldron with Johnny Walker Black Label. That is right, I am back with uh, Classic Gaming with Booze, uh, Johnny Walker Black Label here. Let me, uh, I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. Cheers. Hmm. Okay, so, um... Uh, what was, so the controls to this game, um, controls, let me see, um, I thought I, I had a, uh, a file with, uh, with that in it, hang on just a second, uh, I am looking I am still looking, uh, is it this thing? Okay, yes, it's this thing. All right, good. Now, this uh, game, Black Cauldron, uh, so we're gonna move, um, speak with the guy sitting at the table. So, uh, boy, normal's kind of slow. Let's see, uh, fast? Okay, fast is fine. Um, so you'll notice a, a number of interesting things about this game. Uh, F6, uh, is a do action. Um, we go over and speak to this guy at the, at the, uh, at the thing, F6. It's time for you to feed our favorite pig, Henwin. Uh, blah, 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 take care and do whatever. Um... So walk up to the pot on the fireplace and hit F6. You carefully reach over the fire and take Henwin's pot of simmering gruel. Uh, that sounds lovely. Okay. Um, uh, walk to the cupboard. Uh, open it. Uh, you open the cupboard. You uh, blah, blah, blah. You keep hitting this button until you have everything... Um, and then you close the cupboard, and then you leave the cottage and go east. Okay, so this is the Black Cauldron. I'm drinking Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker Black Label, which is a blended scotch whiskey. Um, blended means comes from more than one distillery. Uh, blended whiskeys are, uh, you know, not as popular necessarily. I mean, Monkey Shoulder is kind of a popular one. Johnny Walker is by far the highest selling one. There are a ton of freaking animals on this thing. Um, but uh, the black label is... So red label is like $20. It's their cheap one. Black label is like a next step up. There's nothing to do here. Uh, can you open? You need to pick up an object to use it. Uh, okay. Um, nope, not what I wanted. Okay. Um, can I... Okay, I just was slightly off. You are my favorite pig. Um, open the gate. Uh, give the gruel. Um, F3, gruel. You feed the gruel. Uh, F4 was the feeding. Boy, this is complicated. Um, you need to be close to her. Select gruel from your inventory. Press F4 after eating the gruel. We'll run back to the cottage. Okay, enjoys eating. Oh no, Henwin is trotting away. Just going to the cottage. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Johnny Walker Black Label is the next step up. Like, Blue Label is ridiculously expensive. Um, it's like $200 or some such. Oh, yep, okay, good. Uh, all right, can't talk. Uh, look, there's something wrong with Henwin. Um, puts her snout in the water and sees a vision. Wow, the sound on this thing I am really going to have to tone down. <laughs> um, 
Okay, I don't know what any of that means, but that's fine. Um, blah, 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 magic powers. Um, uh, leave the cottage, use the... Telling me a terrible tale. Uh, could force her to use her visions uh, to reveal the location of the cauldron. Uh, protect this pig, because it's magical and shit. I don't know. Okay. Um, leave the cottage and use the water flask on the trough outside. So F3 to use water flask. Fill the water flask. Okay. Uh, walk to the west and then north. Um, okay. Uh, hopefully this goose doesn't... Uh, it's just going to honk. That's an interesting noise. Okay. Oh, save. Uh, what is save? Damn, it's been too long. Is it F5? Okay, it is. Uh, starting off. So I mentioned this game, The Black Cauldron, was based on a Disney movie. And um, I mentioned before when I was playing Leisure Suit Larry that I, uh, oh, hey, a hole. Uh, you would say look hole, but this is not a typing parser game. Um, oh, no. Uh, whoa, what is that thing? Okay, um, discover a loot inside the hole. Uh, you take the loot and realize it's slightly out of tune. Of course you would realize that. Uh, walk to the north twice. Stay on the edge in case the um, dragon thing. Okay, um, your throat is dry. I think you get some warnings on the um, on the drinking thing. Okay. Um, restore. Starting off. Should have saved more recently, but that's okay. Okay, stay close to the edge, although it came from the other edge at that one point. Uh, F5 to save. Still starting off. Okay. Um, so I mentioned this game as being a very early game, uh, and it is a very early... You, are you freaking kidding me with that? Um... I uh, should I s stay over to this side? <laughs> um, one of these times I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to get this uh, this right. Uh, I filled my flask, but I'm going to wait to drink. Um, okay. Uh, stay at the edge of the screen. You'll come across a briar patch. Inside the patch is a secret area, which is easy to find once you know where it is. Um, okay. There's some kind of map thing. That's fair enough. Had to, uh, uh, yeah, let me save. Patch. Um, supposedly it's like this. Okay, you emerge from the brambles of the clearing and a strange house. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. Open the door to the underground house and go inside. Yeah, why not? Can't do anything. You move a pixel to the left and you can open the door. Um, well, the friar folk is here hidden when uh, he tells you something about the king uh, and gives you a magic wand. Congratulations, uh, you have delivered Henwin to safely, successfully fulfilled the quest, but since you left, the Horned King behaves even more fiendishly, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can't tell you where, but I can tell you their magic password, uh, some bullshit. Um, good luck. Uh... Okay. Uh, did I get the uh, wand? Uh, oh, magic word. I got the magic word. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, 
Open the cupboard in the back and take the cookies. Yeah, let's steal. That sounds like a good idea. Um, so one of the things you'll notice is that I'm not typing. So uh, unlike other games, uh, this was uh, stealing cookies. Uh, this was not, so this was made with, with a Disney license. Uh, so I'm struggling here. So let me take a second. I said before, this was an early game. I said I wasn't going to play it. One of the reasons I wasn't going to play it was I've never played this game before. Um, and I've just really been kind of reliving my past. Although this was a classic adventure game, uh, never really played it before. I maybe watched the movie once. So very recently, uh, mid November, Disney plus came out. I got Disney Plus, watched some of it. Uh, interestingly enough, Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse, is kind of a dick in that uh, in that cartoon, but whatever. I noticed the Black Cauldron was on there, and I said, okay, let me watch that. So I watched it. Um, not a good movie, you know, wouldn't recommend it, but but whatever, it was there. So, uh, so I decided, okay, well, I've watched that. Should I play the Black Cauldron? Thought about, should I try to figure all this out myself? And of course, we see how much horse shit that would be. So I decided, nah, I'll just play with a walkthrough like everything else. I'll go ahead and play it. Black Cauldron. I have Johnny Walker Black Label. Seemed like a good fit. So let's go. So you'll notice that uh, go, then leave the house, go east, east, south. Okay. So you'll notice that... Um, you close the door. Good. That um, there is no typing in this game, even though it's an early uh, game. I'm trying to go east here, people. Um, it won't let me go east, though. Seems to not do that. I guess I have to go south first and then east. Doesn't say it like that, but whatever. I'll give it a shot. Uh, along the way, you'll meet a little creature, Gurjeef. Uh, if you find him, select your apple and give it to him for extra points. Okay. Um, thank you for the tasty apple. Um, now we're friends. Okay. Uh, awesome. Great. Um, friends. <clears throat> so, so unlike the text parser stuff, Disney thought um, the text typing would be too complicated for the game. So apparently they were like, oh, let's just do these function key commands, uh, F6 to do stuff or F3 to get an object or F4 to use an object. Yeah, it's not any better. And in fact, it, it's, I don't think there's any other Sierra game that uses this interface. So, um, so it was, um, East, East, South, uh, stand at the edge of the nearest waterfall and select the magic word to use it. So, um, I think, uh, water, um, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I automatically swim. Fair enough. Stand at the edge, select the magic word, and use it, boom. You say the word, the waterfall reveals uh, something. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's pitch black in here. Um, okay. Oh, you're falling. Still alive. No problem. I have a hard head. Uh, who's in the kingdom shouts the king, blah, blah, blah. The waterfall was supposed to keep people out. Uh, speak to the king. Nope. Whoops. Uh, I wanted F6. Blah, blah, blah. Um. Uh, 
Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Give some, I can't believe it, but if you truly respect me, offer something to show your respect. Okay, so you're supposed to give him the loot. You offer the loot. A uh, loot is like a, what, like a fiddle? Like a, it's it's a musical instrument of some kind. I don't know, is it is it like a flute type thing? Or is it, I thought it was like a kind of violin fiddle type thing. I don't know, a loot. Thank you for your gift. Um, I'm so glad your your remarkable Henwin is also here and quite safe. Oh, well, good. He, he came the different way. That's awesome. Um, he'll give you a magic mirror and some flying dust, uh, some person broader in the underground tunnels, blah, 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 destroy civilization, find the black cauldron and destroy it. Um, okay. Uh, magic mirror and some flying dust. Good. Okay, uh, use the flying dust to fly out of the cave. Okay, fair enough. Boom. Uh, wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> okay, flying dust. Um, speak the magic word again, uh, and then go north and north. Okay. I guess, uh, oh, because it means to uh, lower the rock. Okay. Fair enough. Really? I was, okay. Uh, I guess it was too close to the uh, waterfall? I don't know. Okay. Uh, save it. Uh, keep it going. I always like to use keep it going. Go north and north. Uh, pick up. <clears throat> okay, great. I already gave you friggin' apple. Pick up the f food wallet from under the bridge. Nothing to do here. Okay, reaching under the footbridge, you take the wall, look inside, it's filled with food. Awesome. Okay. Uh, for an unlimited supply of food. No, oh, wow, okay. I will eat from it then. The magic food wallet produces enough food to satisfy you. That's, uh, that's awesome, good job. Let me uh, take a, a sip of whiskey for that. Um, and advance my walkthrough. Okay, there we go. Um, keep it going. Yeah. Uh, west, 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 take the dagger. So, um, so, yeah, um, I, I thought I'd play this. Hopefully, uh, you know, uh, the movie wasn't terrible, wasn't great. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, what am I looking for? Take the dagger from the tree and walk north. Um, there was like three wests. I think that was been only two. <clears throat> okay. There's nothing to do here. Couldn't walk west again necessarily, so nothing to do here. Nothing to do here. Can't do anything here. Um, is there a look? F8 is look. Um, okay, I don't know. Nope. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let me count. West. <laughs> F8 is look. The tree swaying gently in the breeze. <clears throat> yeah, I was pretty sure uh, that this was the second one. Still nothing to do. Can't do anything.
Wow. <clears throat> um... Walk north and then go east to the rock maze. North, is it? Oh, this is the tree where you found the loot. Um, <clears throat> well, okay. <laughs> now I'm confused. Um... I mean, this would have to be west, so I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with that. Cross the bridge. This is my, uh... Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Hey, you freaking... Look, I'm busy, guys. Okay? Look... Yeah. You know, maybe I should have been underneath the bridge, actually, now that I think about it. So let's say west, um, west. And this is going to let me go west again? Okay, son of a bitch. Anyway, all right, um, my throat is dry. Good. Uh, I get another warning. So let's take that. Um, let's not restore. <laughs> let's keep it going. Uh, let's take that. Look at the tree and see a uh, dagger holding up a no trespassing sign. Well, that seems good. Carefully remove the sharp dagger from the tree. Uh, then walk north and east to the rock maze. Uh, you have no use for the no trespassing sign, so you leave it. No, I just wanted the dagger. All right. Fine. I'm good then. Just like my daggers. North uh, and then east to the rock maze. I was like literally just... Um, the rapids are turbulent and treacherous. East would be that way, and I was just... Would it be west? Yeah, it's west. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so there's like... It's like drawing on this maze, so let's see. Save. Mazing. Um... Okay. I made it. Good. Um, select the rope. I have a rope. I do have a rope. Yeah, don't know when I got the rope, uh, but this sounds like a uh, place to save, so use the rope. Throw the rope as hard as you can and it falls, fails to catch on anything. Okay. Okay, good. 
Uh, F6 to use it. Rose seems to be securely attached to the tree. Yep. Um... Nope, uh, I don't, well, wait a minute. Walk all the way up to the tree, select rope, and use it. Um, okay. I probably should have saved a little bit back. Um... Let me see. Speed slow. Um, slow. This is fun. Nope, nope, not restore. Gotta be careful. Gotta love Sierra tightrope puzzles. Okay, um, that was a lot of work. <laughs> I'm tired myself from that, basically. I'll have to take a drink. Um, okay, uh, climb the rock wall, work your way to the... Okay, I'm up diagonally to the narrow ledge. Climb the rock wall, work your way around to the top of the cliff. Go north. Um, don't worry, you won't fall off, and then follow the path toward the moat. Keeping it going still. Um, can I go up to normal speed now? Probably even should. Um, fingertips. Uh, probably should even, I don't know. Pretty sure I have to go up here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> then follow the path toward the moat. Go north, know where you will fall off, follow the path toward the moat. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, boy, another thing here. I'm still going to go slow, because, you know, ash shot on that noise. Here we go. Your thirst is intense. I don't know if I get how many uh, warnings I get. Drink the water. Drinking two. I am awesome. Look at me go. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Um... Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can swim across the moat by dodging the crocodiles or walk to the west. If the wagon is there, go up and hop on board.
Mm. If not, go back east and west until the wagon appears. Seems like this is going to go well. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Um, once you're hitting the wagon, you'll be taking the castle. The castle walk north to the wine cellar. Yep. Sounds sounds about right. Uh, henchman can't see you. He leaves because he's a freaking idiot. Um, F6, you leap from the wagon. Good job. Uh, didn't you just go north? Uh, walk north to the wine cellar. Okay. Or is there a north down there? No, nope. nope. This is, uh, this is the thing. Okay, um, then walk between the first and second wine casts on the right, the nearest far side. You'll find a corridor. Of course you will. I don't know what that guy is doing, but... Oh, there's an opening. You fell into the opening. It smells like it might be a garbage chute. Mm, I think uh, it's like a, a Star Wars reference, right? Um, you'll fall down into a corridor below the dungeons. Good job. There's a beautiful young girl here, as is always. Uh, princess uh, something or other. Uh, hello, I'm Princess something or other. Uh, this is my magic bobble. Okay, um, uh, use F6 on the stones on the far wall. You'll start pushing them one by one. Do this four times. Made a path to the room in the north and walk through. Is this the far wall? What's the far wall? I would have seemed like that, but... Um, keep... Just keep. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, nope. Is this, I mean, this would be the near wall, right? Oh, nope. Um, walk, oh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, no. Walk west, a beautiful young girl will speak to you. Walk west and west. Okay. West. She's talking up a good game. I don't know. All right, here we go. Uh, is this the far wall? Nothing to do. Actually, right here. This looks like. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right. Um, you'll escape the small hole. Grab the magic sword from the altar. There's a metal glint. Of course. Let's take the sword. Let's steal from a, a tomb. That's fine. Uh, uh, then uh, go south, south, and east. Really? We Didn't we just come from the south thing? Um, okay. Oh, look, you found some... What? Huh? Mm -hmm. Good luck on your... What, uh, Oh, don't wet, huh? Okay, fine. People suck. South, south, east. Um, okay. Oh, uh, east, right, that's west. Duh. All right. No, no, I'm good. 
Uh, use the gargoyle statue on the wall to open a secret passage and climb the ladder. Oh, yep, here we go. Gargoyle. Uh, save a Rooney. Save a Rooney? I, I don't know. I don't know what's, how, to, how to say save a Rooney, but that's fine. All right, climbing out. Uh, okay. Um... Have your magic sword ready and walk north. If the henchman is there, swing your magic sword as he gets close and knock him out for a few seconds. Okay, sounds like knock him out is, uh... Okay, um... Grab the keys on the wall on the right. Oh, they're over there. Great. And um, walk close to the locked door and use the keys on the door. Um, okay, so that was uh, that was not good. Okay, uh, so I got it. I got it. Magic sword. Check. Um, keys on the door. How about that? Okay. I'm really, uh, crushing the shit out of this game now. All right. Um, head inside and rescue fl Flirter Flam, the bard, and he'll reward you with his harp. Um, okay. Uh, let me save it again. Um, just rescue him. It's fine. Undo the knots and, uh, here's my harp. And, uh, I'll just fucking leave because that's what we all do. Um, you may choose to remain here. Farewell. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Fair enough. Um, okay, let's see. Where, where are we at here? There's not much left to this walkthrough. That's fair. Um... Southwest and up the stairs to uh, the first floor. Um, so let me get out the uh, sword again, just uh, just in case. Um, dry is uh, south. Uh, what did I say? West and up the stairs. And then walk east. See, I had the sword out. I, I know what's going on. Good job. Just beat the shit out of all these guys. I really... I, I only have, like, half the points, but I swear there's not much left of this walkthrough. Um, if you are caught in place in the dungeon, the closet here is where your things would be stored. Go south and south to the room with the drawbridge. Use the magic sword on the drawbridge chain to break it. Oh, shit. What did I do? Oh, sound on. Okay. Um, south. I don't know. I just feel like hitting all these guys. Screw them. South and south. Use the sword on the drawbridge chain. So over here. I am so freaking awesome. You know, with the uh, walkthroughs. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, break it and leave the castle. Descend down the mountain the way you came back to the rock maze. Sure, why not? Sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. Um, starving and must eat. Well, guess what? I have a magic food wallet. Um, that apparently is, uh, helping me out here. Okay. Um, um, you really have to go all the way back through all this bullshit? I mean, that's what this walkthrough is saying. I mean, it's taking me back to, like, the haunted forest here. 
Oh, I'm, I might not be able to die, actually. Oh, no, I definitely can die. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Sometimes it seems like it, it stops you, but... Um... Yeah, fingertips. Carefully. I carefully do everything. Oh, I'm going to have to do the rope again? That's fucked up. God oh, damn it. That puzzle sucks. And I say and I say puzzle because it's not really a puzzle so much as just sucking, but Okay. Yeah, phew, you made it. I made it to the most horrible portion of the whole thing. You grab the rope. Um rope. See, do you see this? Nope, don't. My thirst is intense, so I will drink again. I better not die on the rope of thirst. I was going to say I'm really getting the hang of this bullshit, <laughs> but apparently I am not. I'm getting the hang of save scumming using my keyboard. Nope, don't uh, restore. I'm right there, though. Right? Okay. That's good enough. Um, let's see. So fast. Um, water. Drink. The water from your flask tastes delicious. I don't even know how much I have left. That's fine. Um, but let me uh, save it again. Just uh, Otherwise, I'll forget I, I drank and if I have to restore. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, back through the rock maze, uh, south through the haunted forest, south to the swamp. Use the flying dust to cross to the other side of the southwest opening. Um, okay, back through here. Um, I know it was over here, but am I supposed to go this, is this way? The swamp? I know this isn't the way I came, but maybe, um, I'm not sure. Just, just based on the way this walkthrough is reading. Um. South to the swamp. Okay. Yeah. Um. Use the flying dust to cross to the other side of the southwest. Open the door and go inside. Um, flying dust, magical uh, flying dust to, uh, you know, help solve any uh, problem. <laughs> it seems like the ultimate MacGuffin, right? Ma no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, flying. And uh, we go and open the door. Uh, cautiously, you open the door. Uh, walk to the chest and open it. Sure. Yeah, why not? It's ours now. Ribbit, ribbit. Let out a bunch of frogs. Okay. Um, Frogs will escape, and three witches will appear. Uh, talk to them first by pressing F6, then offer them the magic sword in exchange for the black cauldron. Uh, blah, and the blah, my name, uh, silly little pig boy. Uh, it's because of the, the pig that 
they don't know, whatever. Uh, the true have no cauldron. Uh, this is from the movie. I mean, the witches and the thing. Um, offer them the sword. Uh, do I need to F6 again? There's nothing. Okay. Um, I was using this sword to hit people, though, so it sucks. Uh, here, I offer you my most prized possession that I just got 10 minutes ago, um, this sword. Actually, the pig is technically your most prized possession, so you're a lying sack of shit, but whatever. Um, and blah, blah, blah. And you will go outside with the witches, speak to the witches, uh, and walk toward the black cauldron. Um, okay. And somebody will steal it. Uh, steal. Um, go outside with the witches, speak to the witches, and walk toward the black cauldron. Okay, speak to the witches. Gotcha. Uh, you have the black cauldron, you want to see blah, 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 duckling, hee hee, bullshit. Um, Okay, here in the day, he will steal the cauldron. There's only one thing to do, go get it back. Uh, make your way to the castle and go inside. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> are you kidding me? Uh, okay. <sighs> this is so... Well, now I don't have my sword of uh, usefulness, but that's okay. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, no, I was right there. Okay. Uh-huh. Nothing like having a great puzzle in a game that you have to do 1,500 times. Uh, and let's call it a puzzle, just, uh, because... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, so, um, speed slow first, and blah. You know, uh, I, I mean, I think you're supposed to keep your hands, oops, no, within a certain distance of the rope. Uh, but it's just kind of bullshit, you know? I mean, it shouldn't be this hard. Uh, I mean, I get it, right? So I'm supposed to, like, think, oh, here's some some game that has really um, given me a lot of gameplay for this. I mean, if it took me 400 minutes to do that when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, I have a game that took 400 minutes to play. That must be a great game. Uh, but I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. I really just don't. Um, you know, sometimes these games, like, as much as I love all of the classic adventure games and the stuff, I mean, look, I that that is the type of stuff that I would put up with, right? That's not really, like, my favorite um, stuff. So, whatever. It's fine. I'm, I'm back, apparently. 
and I have flying dust. I should just be able to use flying dust anytime I want to, but apparently, well, and I don't know. I didn't try the flying dust, although maybe you run out of the flying dust. Do I, I still have the flying dust? I still have it right now. Of course, maybe I have to use it again. Do I have to use it again? Make your way back to the castle. Um, this time the drawbridge will be open if you broke the chain to escape. Uh, I don't know. It, it, I, it doesn't really say. Well, it, it probably says, but I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's not that much to read. There's like a half a paragraph left. Um, inside, your throat is dry. Okay, that's fine. Back again. You know, part of it is just like, oh, let's revisit the same, let's, let's come up with a contrived reason to revisit the same screens 500 times because then we don't have to reprogram stuff. Go inside, go north to the wine cellar, take the secret passage between the two wine casts to the characters below. South and east, get ready with the magic mirror. I don't have the freaking uh, sword anymore, so I guess I can't bop this guy on the head. Okay. Um, get ready with the magic mirror. Check. And F4 to use, I guess. Uh, when the Horn King gets close, but not too close, <laughs> use the mirror. What does that mean? <laughs> Walk south and then to the east. When he gets close, but not too close. You hold the mirror directly in front of the Horn King's eyes. Uh, he sees not his face, but his true inner self, the vision of evilness. Um, and he jumps into the cauldron. Um and uh, kill, sacrifices himself. After a short cutscene, the witches return and offer you items in your return for the cauldron. Don't accept any of them until they offer the sword. Uh, I have 215 points. Okay, the whole screen is fucking shaking. I don't know. Um, castle walls tremble and fall. Blah, blah, blah. Johnny Walker's not too bad. I honestly don't mind it. And it's not a very expensive um, blended scotch. I mean, and it's definitely not got a lot of peat. I mean, it's it's very accessible. Um, force of the explosion throws you uh, hold tight. You know, if, so if you're, I mean, if you're looking for something that's an accessible scotch, although it's not necessarily what I would think of when I think of scotch. And I mean, it's blended and stuff. I don't know. Uh, it's good, though. Uh, whatever. Um, am I supposed to do something? I don't think I'm supposed to do something. Okay, there's the cauldron. All right, the witches are going to offer me shit. Um, I should really read this part. Uh, things are not working out as you expected. Being great heroes, not all as cracked up to be. Since you'll be using it, we decided we want our cauldron back. Um, of course, we'll not just take it. it will offer you a trade. Magnificent warrior shield. Um... I don't, uh, so the shield is sitting there. Uh, it's your choice, Assistant Pig Keeper. We won't wait all day, though. I guess I just wait. Uh, if you don't want that, how about this magic suit of, uh, armor? So the armor's there. I guess I'm supposed to just walk up and hit F6 if I want these, so no. Um, because, you know, I want the sword back, apparently. I don't know why I want the sword or why it's his most prized possession. You drive a hard bargain, uh, hit pig boy. Here's your final offer. Give us a cauldron. We'll give you back your sword. Uh, yeah. Oh, he he automatically did that. I didn't do shit. Okay. Um. Uh. Once again, you hold your special sword in your hand. Uh. Now immortal, you live to the ripe old age. Uh. Fight. I'm immortal now. I pull. I pulled it off of a gravestone. How is that guy not immortal? I. D okay. Anyway. Fight many battles, and thanks to the sword, always emerge victorious. Even though I was only like bopping people on the fucking head. Oh no, it's great. Oh, we're clapping and I'm with the girl again and the, the dude with the, the harp I saved. I don't know. Hope you've enjoyed. Like, it makes a little more sense having just watched the movie. Like, some of this shit is like directly from the movie and stuff, but that that's fine. Whatever. It's good. 230 out of 230. Uh, that's not my rating, by the way. I'd give this like a C. I, I don't know. It's okay. And, and part of the problem is I have no nostalgic value for this. Like, I, I never played it before, so um, whatever. And, and the movie I don't have a nostalgia for. Uh, if I loved the movie, um, 
you know, maybe I care. Plus, like, that little, that dude that you gave the apple to was a really big character in the movie and is practically not even in this game. So, I, I don't know. Like, if you liked the movie, I don't know that you'd like this game that much, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're all walking into this. Uh, see, there he is, the dude bouncing around on the right. It's like, it, whatever. Congratulations, you've played a tremendous game, I guess, because I got perfect score. Because I'm awesome. I don't know if you can not get a perfect score, honestly. I don't feel like there were things that were optional that I did. Maybe. I don't know. Well, and there there are different ways of, like, I could have swam the moat to get in, or I could have, like, there are different ways of going or different paths, so... Plus, you can take the pig with you more in, in, on dangers, apparently, and not get him safe right away, which is actually kind of more along the lines of the movie, you know, spoiler alert or whatever. Uh, the end. That it? Okay, fine. Well, that's fine. That's the end. That's the game. Um, so, uh, yep, cool. I'm going to go. Uh, but as always, gamers, <laughs> have a good evening, day, and night. Minecraft, time lapse, mob traps, world maps, cat naps, rap tracks, perhaps. You'll tune in and watch the hijinks, and if you like, click the up and subscribe links.